Hello everyone and welcome to March. I'm super excited for this month because it brings us into the first day of spring, which moves us toward warmer temperatures, more flowers coming in around, and the opportunity to be outside more as our temperatures start to warm up. So it also brings us though into a rainy season for some of us, depending on where we live. So remembering that those temperatures continue to rise and fall, so staying focused with the intentions that you've chosen to set as we move. All right, today's sequencing is just gonna be something to allow you to think about your month, to give you the opportunity to feel successful and strong, and enjoy where you've chosen to be at this point in your year. So let's move into child's pose. Open up your knees, take your hips back to your heels, reach your arms forward, lower your head down, and just breathe slowly in and out. Taking a big breath in and a big breath out. I want you to inhale forward to your hands and your knees so you'll find tabletop. And shift your hips a little bit side to side. From here, you're gonna inhale through your cow pose, look up. And then exhale through cat, tuck your chin. One more time, inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck your chin. Curl your toes, push it back. Downward facing dog, lengthen. Inhale as you breathe in. And exhale as you breathe out. Good, rolling forward to plank. Engage your core, find your breath, hold yourself here. Three, two, and then slowly bring yourself down. Untuck your toes, inhale, raise your heart up. Exhale, lower. Again, inhale, raise your chest up and lower. Maybe make your shape even bigger, inhaling up. Bigger shape if you want it. And then exhaling, pull back to your down dog. Take a gaze forward and tiptoe all the way up to your hands until you found a forward fold and then take your hands around your legs Soften your knees and fold in. Inhale your hands to your shins, lift halfway forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, bring the arms up high. Lift your gaze, lean back. And then pull your hands to heart center. Close your eyes for a few breaths here. And then inhale, allow your eyes to blink open, reach your arms out wide and up. Interlock your fingers, push up, and then I just want you to lean over to your right. Inhale, center, lengthen. Exhale, lean over to your left. Inhale, come back to center, reach up high. Exhale with wide arms, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step back to high plank, top of your push-up. Take your chaturanga lower. Inhaling up. And then pulling back to your down dog. Raise your right leg high to the sky. And then gently step forward. Bend your front knee, lunge forward. Use blocks under your hands if you need to, and then you're gonna exhale, straighten your right leg. Inhale, bend your right knee, look forward. Exhale, straighten. Bend your right knee one more time, engage your core, reach your arms out and up, and pause in your lunge. Inhale, lift your stomach up, so feel your core engage and breathe here. Exhale your hands to your low back, so supporting the lumbar spine. I want you to inhale, lift your heart and lean back. Three, heart opens. Two, and then exhale one, bring your hands down. Good, take your time, pivot and pull your hips back again, right leg straightens. 
Exhale as you bend into the front knee. Take a large step forward, feet together. Inhale, come all the way up, back bend at the top. Exhale, hug your right knee to your chest, so you're standing on your left foot. Inhale, raise your right knee high past your belly button, flex your foot, pull your shoulders back. Exhale, twist to the right. Look over your back thumb, breathe in here, stand up tall through the standing leg. And then come forward, inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, standing split. So we're gonna push our right leg up, get a nice deep stretch in our hamstring. Maybe bring our left hand around your left leg and reach the leg even higher, take a deep, full breath. Exhale, release the feet to touch. Add your half lift here, inhale. Exhale, fold opposite foot steps back and then the other. Chaturanga, lower. Inhale, up. And then exhale, back. Good, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Left heel is gonna lift. Gently step forward. Stay low in your lunge, reach your heart forward. Exhale, straighten the leg. Again, bend the front knee, come forward, lift your chest. If this is hard, again, put those blocks under your hands. And then exhale, straighten the front leg. Bend your front knee forward, engage your legs. Inhale, squeeze your inner thighs, reach up. Breathe in here. Three, as you lunge forward. Two, take your hands around behind you, support your lumbar spine, and then lift their heart forward and up. Three, two, and then exhale one, bring your hands down. We're gonna straighten our front leg one more time, working into the hamstring. Bend your front knee, take a giant step forward, lift and lengthen halfway, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise to stand all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart and then pull your left knee to your belly. Good, give it a tight squeeze so you're standing firm on this right leg. Then you're gonna twist to your left. Reach your left arm behind you. Rotate all the way through the spine, stand tall through this right leg for three, two, and then on one, shift forward, and then slowly pivot, folding forward into standing split. Right hand wraps around this right leg, pull your chest into your standing leg for four. Lift your heel higher. Three, two, and then lower the feet together on one. As you bend your knees, come into chair pose, reach up. Sit low in your hips. Feel your legs nice and active. Add a little pulse here for three, two, and then take the arms back behind you for skier variation, also known as fierce pose. Heart forward, fingertips back. Good, inhale, come back to chair. Exhale, heart forward, fingertips back. Good, inhale one more time, come back up. Exhale, reach it back. And then one more time, come back up, hold, three, two, and then fold forward here on one. Lift your spine halfway. We're gonna step our left foot back. And then take your time, staying on the ball of the foot, lunge forward, peel your right arm up and twist. Try to keep your shoulder stacked, look all the way up into the sky, take a full breath. And then bring your hand down, step your foot forward and switch sides, right foot back. Right hand down, left arm up and twist, look up. Squeeze your inner thighs as you rotate. Good, exhale and step forward. Halfway lift, one more time, left foot's gonna step back. Left palm down, inhale, right arm up and twist. Lower, step your feet together, right foot back, keep the right hand down. 
Inhale, left arm up and twist. And then exhale, lower. Feet together, inhale, rise all the way up. Big back bend. And then exhale, dive forward, fold in. Halfway lift your spine and lengthen. Exhale, fold, step into high plank, top of a push-up. Lower chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale to your hands and your knees. You're gonna take your right arm up into the sky, reach it all the way up. Exhale, thread your needle, lay down onto your right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, reach your left arm over the head. Fingertips down and then just peel the gaze up. Three. Hold on to it, two. And then for one, bring your left palm down. Bring your right arm back up into the sky. Exhale your right forearm down and then your left. Coming into dolphin pose. Tailbone up, walk your toes in. Four dolphin push-ups, come forward for four. Three. Two, one more. And one. Exhale, put your knees down. Good, inhale, straighten your arms. Look up at the sky, find your cobra, also known as your cow. Exhale, tuck your chin, tail up. Find a neutral spine, inhale, raise your left arm high. Exhale, thread it through. Inhale, your right arm up. Exhale, reach it over the head. Hold here as you stretch. Three, two, slide your hand back into place. Inhale, reach your left arm up high. And then we're gonna bring this left forearm down and then the right. Curl your toes, dolphin. Good, exhale forward, four. Hold it if this is too hard, three, two, one more, and one. Good, drop your knees down, take your hands back to your toes, child's pose, rest. Take a few breaths here in and out, relax the shoulders. Breathing in and out slowly. Good, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, come back to your down dog when you're ready, tailbone to the sky. Inhale, pressing back, exhale it out. Breathing in and out slowly, and then just feel your underarms, find your body, stretch it back. Good, and then from here, we're gonna lift our right leg high. Exhale, bring the knee into the chest. Inhale, reach the leg up high. And then exhale, step forward again. Squeeze the inner thighs tightly, and then inhale, raise your arms up. Holding your lunge here, lifting your chest. Bringing your hands to your heart, shifting forward, and then lift your back leg into warrior three, balance. T-shape the body. Lift from your back hamstring, engage your legs, feel your body and all the effort. And then you're just gonna step right back. You're gonna reach your arms back up into the air, take a big yummy back bend. Good, and then slowly release the hands down. We're gonna raise our arm into the twist we did before, and then step back to side plank, hovering the right foot if you can the whole time. Three, two, high plank, optional vinyasa, lower. Inhale up, and then exhale back. Breath in once you arrive, breath out. Take your left leg up. Exhale your knee to your chest. Inhale the leg up and back. And then exhale, step forward. Inhale, rise, pause. Squeeze the legs, firm them tight and together. Pull the hands to the heart, lean forward. Back leg up, warrior three. 
Good, engage your glutes, lift from your back heel, reach your chest forward. Three, two, step back on one. From here, inhale, reach back up to the sky. Good, bring the hands down, we'll take our twist, so push firmly into the right hand for me. Drop your back heel and then we'll just hover our left foot. Three, two, bring the hand down, exhale, chaturanga lower. Inhale up, and then exhale, pull it back. Walk your hands back this time and find your toes. Take your peace fingers to your big toes, soften your knees, fold forward over your legs. Lower your head down. Good, full breath in. Exhale, fold. Shake your head left and right. Good, drop your knees. And then slowly squeeze your legs, raise your heart. Moving into camel pose, Ustrasana, I want you to really activate your legs and make sure that your hips stay over your knees. Place your hands at your low back, and then option one, you're gonna stay right here and just look up. So that's gonna provide enough support to keep the core engaged, hips forward. Option two, start to hug your hips in more, press them forward, lift your heart, and then send your gaze back behind you. Stay for three, keep lifting out the low back. Two, bring your heart back up. Exhale, have a seat. Good, gentle twist to the right, so I'm just holding the outside of my thigh. My right palm is behind me. Gentle twist to the left, hold the outside of the thigh, left palm is behind me. Good, inhale, center, interlock, push up. Exhale, back to dolphin one more time. So we're gonna bring our forearms down, curl the toes, find that fire in the shoulders for four. If you don't wanna do dolphin push-ups, just hold your dolphin, two, still building shoulder strength, three, and four. Lower the knees. One more camel, you'll come up. Option one, you'll repeat what we just did. Option two, you're gonna inhale, curl the toes, start to move up and back, and then maybe watch my hands. They're gonna grab my heels, my hips come back, but watch, my hips are gonna move back forward and then into the back bend. Three, two, exhale, chin tucks. Supporting low back, bring it up, and then sink back and down for one. Relax the low back. Good, inhale, reach up high. And then exhale, release your hands. Make your way to seated, extend your feet forward. Toes up, feet are in flexion, so make sure your legs are active. Raise your arms high, hinge forward. And then once you get to your comfortable place, fold forward. So even if you can't find the feet, hold on wherever you can and then just let yourself rest. Take a deep breath in and then as you exhale forward, feel this pull in your low back. Inhale. And exhale. One more big yummy breath in and out. Good, bring yourself up. Exhale very slowly, you're gonna lay down onto your back as you reach forward. Hug your knees towards your chest, place your hands behind your head for me. You're gonna curl up to your thighs, bring your head down, curl your tailbone up, and then bring it down. So it's crunch, down, tailbone, down. Three more of those, up, down, curl, one, up, down, curl, two, up, down, curl, three. Bring the feet down, bring the knees together, rest your palms face up. 
Close your eyes for a moment and just check in with your month. Check in with our third month of the year and where you are in terms of where you want to be. And let yourself feel good where you are, knowing what you've achieved, but knowing if there's more, that you still have plenty of time. Take your time, pull your knees apart, hug them into your chest. Pull your thighs into your stomach. Rock up to seated. Turn towards me if you can. Take a nice tall seat. Lift the heart and reach up to the sky. And then pull the hands in. Looking down or closing the eyes here, thanking yourself for this practice. If you want to add a long shavasana, go ahead and lay down at the end and allow yourself to rest. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Thank you guys for practicing. And together as we bow forward, namaste. Have a wonderful month.